is shocking but as I've got closer to this point the cycle path that runs alongside has been getting better and better quality and what I've got now is this and it's wonderful I have no reason to ride on the road morning um well as you've guessed a little bit behind. Um, I should be going along the lovely banks of Loch Lomond. Instead, I've made it to Glasgow yet. But oh, yesterday evening was dreadful. That road surface is shocking. So in the end, I went on the cycle path, which was better, but it was so dark that all of my energy was put into just seeing the lit, the lit bit of path in front of me and it massively tired me out um, hence asking Dell to stop early and me try and get an early night the early night didn't quite pan out as hoped um, oh, hang on, I need to change gear, wrong hand um, yeah, it didn't quite pan out as hoped because in the end, instead of getting four or five hours sleep, I ended up with just two. And since I was awake at, I don't know, half past, at two o'clock in the morning, I thought better pedaling than just being awake. Turned out I should have tried to go back to sleep because that next bit, I made it to the next services. Um, yeah, made it to the next services, grabbed a sandwich and some food and a giant coffee oh excuse me morning yeah grabbed a giant coffee hoping that would wake me up it didn't it was still pitch black outside and windy and raining and I was soaking and as I got higher I got colder um, but in the end the cycle path improved and hi and i ended up on this um purpose-built ncn 74 which is a lovely smooth surface and kicks me out of the road 
There's a lot of lorries as you can hear today. Oh, and tractors. So, um, yeah, so I'm staying on this for a bit. Um, so, in the end, I got to Ken Lodge Services. They were still closed, but I managed to find a, um, a little bit of ground out of the rain that was dry. Stuck my head down for half an hour. Then Del arrived, so I had another half an hour kip in the van. And then we went and had a good breakfast. And, oh God, I'm feeling so much more alive now. So the whole plan is all put back about a leg. And what I'm gonna be trying to do is to um, claw back maybe almost a leg at the end because my last day, my last half day, um, was gonna be quite an easy one. Dear, bits of car wrapped around that lamppost. Um, yeah, it was always going to be an easy one, so I could add a bit more onto that day and just start earlier. So that's what I'm going to do. My overnight stops are all shifting. Dale's going to have a look at the plan and see how that can work. So instead of going to Ballock, wherever it was tonight, um, we're going to try and try and aim for Inverness. Um, I will get to John O'Groats tomorrow not in the morning as expected but I will get to John O'Groats and I will be on my way back down by close of play tomorrow I'm determined I will finish this and I'm determined to get it done in nine days or less whether I can get it in the eight eight and a half I don't know but I'm gonna get it done by the end of day nine anyway I need to get back onto the road now so I thought I'd just give you a quick update anyway thanks ever so much everybody for you for your support I'm gonna keep plodding on and I am gonna get this done. Um, but yeah, we're just replanning at the moment. Um, yeah, I need to get on and crack on some miles. Bye. It's blowing and horribly red. River Clyde. to I'd have missed that view because it would have been raining this is beautiful take a look at this
well I might not be quite at Glencoe yet but I'm not far off I have to say everything that came before and everything that will come after I don't care this was absolutely the best bit of the whole trip it's just I've come on the right day the right time of day and it's been brilliant so there we go oh Anything is I can't stand still because I'm surrounded by midges. Bye!